Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I have come up with a new requirement where I'm going to extract all the Excel files from a folder. So as you can see on my screen, uh, the requirement is listed here. So it is saying import all the Excel files from a folder called source file. Uh, let me show you. So this is the source file folder. Inside the source file folder, we have different kind of files. For example, we have document, we have PDF, we have PBX, we have Excel files. So we have four kind of files. So what we have to do is we have to import all the Excel files which is present in this folder. Next, we have to add two new columns. So let me show you what is there inside the Excel file. So if you see this uh, Excel file, it has different sheets called Dawson, Patrick and Sheet 1. So in the Dawson, we have date, product, unit, sales. Similarly, in the Patrick also, we have a date, product, unit, sales. So the column names are same in all the sheets. So basically, Dawson and Patrick are the salesmen who are selling these units. So Dawson is the salesman and uh, inside the Dawson sheet, we have the sales description. That is the date of sales, the number of units that is sold and the sales amount, all these things. And each sheet name is the salesman or sales rep, we can say. And the file name is having the city name. So this is the Oakland file. So at Oakland is a city uh, where uh, we have different salesperson having the sales. Similarly, we have another file, Seattle, which is again the city where we have Fred and Tom. So Fred and Tom are having different sales. So let's go back to the requirement. So it says uh, add two new columns, one from extracting file name that is city and another from the sheet name that is sales rep. So we'll have to add two new columns, salesperson and city. Salesperson will be taking from the sheet names and the city will be taking from the different file names. Next, we are saying ignore all the sheets uh, which is starting from the name sheet. So basically, we are going to ignore this sheet one file and any other sheets which are starting from the name sheet. So let's go to the Power BI and see how we can achieve this. So to achieve this, first, uh, we are going to go to get data. And from here, let's select more and let's choose the folder option because we are going to extract the data from the folder. So let's connect. From here, we can give the folder path. So to copy the folder path, uh, you can come to the folder and uh, just right click and copy address. So we can paste it here and let's click on OK. So this source file uh, folder is having these many files. Let's click on transform data next. Now let's do all the transformations that is required. So these are, so if you see this, uh, these are the current open files. So I'm going to close these files. Let's close these files. We don't require that. Now, if I do the fresh preview, it will be gone. Now we have these many files which are residing inside that source file folder. So the first step we are going to do is we'll have to choose only the Excel files from this folder. So we'll go to extension and choose. Uh, let's unselect and select XLSX so that it will select only the Excel files that are present inside that folder. And in future as well, if any new Excel file is added, it is going to reflect here. Next, what we can do is let's choose only the name and content column because we don't require a, uh, other columns. So let's go to choose columns. And from here, unselect all the columns and select content and name and click on OK. So name is the file name oakland.xlsx that is excel file and uh, this binary is the excel file itself so next what we will have to do is we will have to expand these files these two files all together and combine them so in order to do that we cannot we cannot just click on this binary if we click on this binary it will just open this file it will just uh, convert uh, this file into the table so let me show you if i click on this binary it will give us the file content for the first file itself that is oakland and this will also not give us the file name which we want as a city so this is not the way and do this. So what we can do is we'll add a custom column. So let's click on add column and click on new custom column. So this custom column, we can uh, add it as let's say table. It will convert the this binary content into a table format. That's why we are saying it as a table. Let's say Excel dot workbook. So this Excel dot workbook requires uh, this content column. If I click on OK, it has converted this binary files into table files. So if I click on this, you can see uh, it is showing a table here. Inside this Excel file, we have these many sheets. This name column is having sheet names, Dawson, Patrick and Sheet 1. Now, we don't need this content column. So we can again go to Home and choose columns and remove that content column. Click on OK. Now we can expand this table and uh, don't use original name as prefix. And from here, we just want name and data. Item we don't require, kind we don't require and hidden column also is not required. We just want name and data. So let's click on OK. Now it is giving us the file name, sheet name and the data inside each sheet. So here, from here we can see the data as well. So if I want to see the data inside Dawson, so you can see we have date, product, units and sales. So next, uh, what we are going to do is we are going to ignore all the sheet names starting from the sheet. So here we are going to add a filter in the name dot one, which is the sheet name column. So let's uh, apply the text filter it does not begin with. It does not begin with sheet and click on OK. So it will remove the sheet one sheets. Now we have the required sheets, uh, Dawson, Patrick, Fra Fred and Tom. So these are the sales rep 
and this is the city now we can expand these tables from here we can expand these columns so i click on ok so now it has expanded all the data from all the sheets and from all the excel files now if you notice here we have this different uh, header names date product unit and sales at first we will have to promote headers so you can use first as header so that we have a header we can rename this column name and say this is city and this one is sales rep so we have all the required columns now next what we have to do is we'll have to filter out this date from the date column so if we filter out this date from here and click on okay see all the headers are removed and we have all the required data which we want from here what we can do is we can go to transform and extract do extract and text before delimiter so we have dot we can say dot and click on okay so it will it is going to take all the text before dot xlsx and it is going to give us a city name and this is how we can prepare the data i hope this video was useful and you have learned something new from this video so if you like my videos do not forget to subscribe my channel till then goodbye and thanks for watching